The first season of girls' flag football officially began in August and ended on October 23rd at the team's final game against Millipedes High School. After the California Interscholastic Federation unanimously passed flag football as an official sport last year in February, the athletics department surveyed the student body to help gauge interest. Athletic Director Nick Bonacorsi looked towards the responses for guidance as to whether there was substantial interest in having a team at MV before going to the district office to try and get approval for stipends to hire a coach. He recalls the many steps that took place after the district approved this, such as hiring a head coach, ordering uniforms, and obtaining startup cash to buy equipment. There's definitely interest, not just here at Monta Vista, but just nationally. It's, it's a hugely popular growing sport. Um, it was talked about a lot in the Super Bowl last year. Uh, and it's, it's, I think the CIF said it's the fastest growing sport in the nation right now. Uh, so it, it was fun to kind of be able to provide that and then, you know, dig around to try and figure out how we we're going to come up with the money to make it happen. One of Bonacorsi's most memorable moments was the first game on September 11th on home turf against St. Francis High School, which was in the second year of its program. Following the St. Francis game, all the players signed the game ball, and it now sits in the main office, alongside the ball used to score the first touchdown in school history for tackle football by former quarterback Jeff Mueller. Senior Stephanie Hung, who plays corner, also says this game was one of her favorite moments from the season. When we played St. Francis the first time, even though we lost, it was like the first time that we played together as a team. And then I guess another one would be our first win against Mountain View because that was the time when I thought that um, we really had a chance of becoming a cohesive team and really being able to play against these really hard teams. While the season included many positives in the logistical aspects of forming the team, sophomore Ali Remelhoff hopes that MV flag football can encourage a stronger sense of commitment and achieve greater success in future years. She says many team members had outside classes and there were many injuries, which caused major setbacks at the beginning of the season. Okay, next year, I hope there's a JV and varsity. It just like, I think having a JV and varsity like creates a desire to be on varsity, which creates like a higher commitment and uh, like making, like making sure everyone is at practice and everyone is contributing and everyone is like doing their hardest work, definitely. Hung believes the team improved its coordination throughout the season. She hopes her teammates can continue this momentum after she graduates. I hope there's more organization in the future. I think this year we kind of got our like act together kind of at the end of the season. So I hope that we have more organization from the beginning. And I hope that more people are more consistent in showing up to practice and being willing and committed to the team. With the first season of flag football finished, Bonacorsi is optimistic for the team's future. He is excited to see the team grow and pursue new opportunities as the sport gains prominence, with there being a league champion and CCS playoffs next year. Um, I think this year actually exceeded my expectations. I wasn't sure what to expect, uh, but we got more than enough to field a full team. We actually have enough to play some JV games as well, which was fantastic. Um, and then just the excitement around it was really cool to see. Uh, it's definitely different from regular tackle football in terms of like rules and, and how the actual game is played. And so I like that distinction too. And we were able to help support them and get the league going. So our Santa Clara Valley Athletic League adopted it for this year. So we have a full league. There's going to be a league champion. Next year, there's going to be CCS playoffs. So it's it's off and running, and it's really exciting and fun to watch if you've ever been. It's, it's exciting, yeah.